What a day. Professor Watt was his usual miserable self, and that test was a killer. Hopefully I can just relax and... Of course, Liam didn't do the laundry or clean. I'll have to do a load of laundry. I have an interview for a job tomorrow and have nothing to wear. I'll gather these clothes up and head to the laundry room in the basement. I'm going to have to talk to Liam later. I'm too upset and tired to go through it again. He's going to have to pull it together for this baby. I think that's all that- oh wait, there we go. Who the fuck is this? God damn girl, you scared the bejesus out of me! <laughs> I scared you? You scared me! What the hell are you doing creeping around down here? Look, I'm sorry for scaring you. I'll tell you, but can you keep this to yourself? Jesus Christ, Joe, you're insane. Uh, the missus kicked me out and it's too cold outside, so I'm trying to wait her out down here. I really didn't mean to creep on you. Honest. I believe you. Just next time, maybe don't go around slinging doors open and hiding in the dark. I will. Thanks, kid. Say, if you want to use the washing machine, it's uh, broken. Yeah, thanks. I figured that out. Sorry again for... It's okay.
Who does? What's up, Sarah? Oh, you know, trying to balance life, school, and job hunting. It's a tough world these days. Liam been treating you well. When he isn't drunk. Yeah. Look, you I know it ain't easy to talk about. And you don't have to tell me nothing. My sister used to be in a bad situation, too. I appreciate that, Stan. Yeah, sure. I'm trying to. Ain't that some sh- Yeah. And speaking of shit, I have an interview tomorrow, so I guess I'll show up smelling like crap. Well, if it's an emergency, I heard of this laundromat that's open 24-7, just outside of town. Still early enough to catch the last bus. I have to say, though, it's a hell of a time- I'm a big girl, Stan. Sure, sure. Shouldn't I get a weapon? and you might be able to thanks again outside oh void Who the fuck is this? Hi there. Can I get you any- It's gone. Did someone steal some- They took it. The people in the walls. I should probably leave him alone. Got any change? Sure, I have a couple dollars. Better than- Haven't seen you around- I moved in not too long ago. Oh, a college girl, huh? What are you studying? I'm pursuing a career in education at the moment. Nice! That's what I got my bachelor's in! Oh, that's great. I hope I can find a gig soon afterwards. If not, my sleeping bag has room for two! <laughs> oh my god! Bus stop. Oh, there's the bus. Where are you heading at this hour? If you don't mind me asking. The laundromat on the outside of town? Not sure I believe that. Pretty late to be doing laundry. Hey, if you're looking to score, I have a good deal just for a pretty little thing like you. You won't even have to pay cash if you know what I mean. How about you just drive the bus and I'll pretend you're not a desperate loser? Whatever, bitch. Sit the fuck down so I can get this piece of junk rolling again.
Oh my god, all the seats are fucking dirty. Ugh. Oh god. Why has motherfucker got a sand next to me? Oh my god. Yeah. Lovely. May I sit beside you? There's plenty of other seats, so I don't see why you- May I? Are you deaf? Do I need to get the driver to- You're going to- What? You're going to die tonight. I've seen it. Tonight is your last night on Earth. Fuck this shit. You are walking straight into your doom. Can't you see that? You and that child inside you. How did you- will be found, ripped open, your insides displayed for all the angels above to look down and see. Oh yes, of that I am certain. Lovely. Please, just stop talking. May I s- Alright, miss. May I sit? The longer map. Ooh, pizza.
No, I don't need to... Holy shit. <sighs> this is crazy.
stupid. What's this for now?
lot better than this shithole. That is real. I check work in there too. Shame she got pregnant. Had real potential to be a passenger on the D trade, if you know what I mean. Something. I don't know anything about the Damn it, where is he? There he is. What a real shame. Sometimes the only way to hide a secret is to burn it. Holy shit. Do you know anything about the recent disappearances? Recent? This has been going on for a long time. How long? Like when the Womb Ripper killings first began? Lord, no. I'm talking years, girl. Years? Don't make me repeat myself. Yes, this area hasn't been the safest place. Not since that laundromat caught fire. The one over there? No, that's the new one. The old one is right next to it. Been empty ever since that night. Are you saying there's some correlation between the laundromat fire and the missing people? I'm just... Well, did anyone die in the... We don't know. The girl working there when the fire broke out was never found. No bones or nothing. After that, people would go missing here or there. Made my daughter and grandchildren move out of the area a few years ago because of it. Anything else you can tell me? Uh, leave an old man be. about the recent disappearances? No, not really. One of the girls who was in my class was one of them, though. I didn't know her too well, except that she was...
Hmm. Look, I don't know anything about that. I just opened up shop not long ago. As I'm sure you can tell by how clean it is in here. However, I'm no detective. But if you ask me, I think it has something to do with the sounds I hear at night outside. I don't want you to think I'm losing my marbles, but I hear some weird things out there some nights. Just screams, I guess. Almost like from a child. But I can tell that ain't no kid out there. Crazy, right? Thinking about all the killings can creep a guy out. Especially being all alone out here. Yeah, I know the victims are all women, but still. Eight six seven five three zero oh, nine. Eight six seven five three zero oh, nine. <laughs> Who the fuck is this? Okay. how you got that but yeah i knew lewis he owned the old laundromat that burnt down we were buds but he disappeared one day it's the aliens i tell you lewis is looking down on us poor schmucks right now from the cosmos
Old Lewis was a real son of a bitch. Had a real eye for the younger girls he did. Don't mean to gossip, but I have it on good authority. He was the one who knocked up that poor girl who worked for him. Can't remember her name, but between that scandal, the fire, and then the disappearances, I would say all the details will never be known. Lewis Kennedy? Nope, never heard of him. Who the hell? Okay, ma'am. Don't know who that is, but he sounds like a real asshole to me. Dracula, searing the screen with new terror in this weird tale of the living dead who rise from the grave at night to mm -hmm. Not my kind of Plant store.
That looks cursed. That's not creepy at all. Mm. Not interested. What a crappy picture. Say, I have a great day. Oh. Yeah, I remember those two. The guy is Lewis. Used to own the old laundromat that burnt down. The girl used to work there. It was a shame what happened to them both. The Lewis was a violent type, so he probably deserved it. Hmm. And the hot bride who used to work for him. He always was a slick bastard. I see you marrying a corpse, living in a grave. The vampire can assume very many different forms at will. Sometimes it appears as a man. Edward Bromberg, and Lon Chaney as the new Count Dracula. You'll shudder at the screen's most fascinating woman vampire, luring men with cold beauty and the promise of immortality. Count Alucard is immortal. Through him, I attain immortality. Through me, you will do the the late night flirt line in just a few moments you will be connected to the girl of your wildest fantasies for 63 seconds well hey there stud oh cool no one's called me that before er i mean hey there studettes i'm so glad you called it's been so lonely over here been thinking about your big cup damn it i'm sorry this is my first night on the job i don't think it's for me well, that's okay. I didn't even know what this number was for. I just called for kicks. Oh, yeah. It's been one night, but I've had my fair share of creeps. Oh, I bet. Well, what kind of person just dials a random phone number at this time of night? A burnt-out college student who's waiting for their laundry to finish. Those places are still open at this time of night? Uh, just this one, a little out of town. Wait, in that plaza with the pizza palace? Yeah, that one. You know it? Yeah, I live out there. Hey. You really shouldn't be out over there this late at night, not with the womb ripper at large. 
I know one of the girls who went missing. She disappeared around that area, and I'm telling you that you should really just go home. There's some things that the newspapers don't talk about. There's more to it than just the stalking and killing. It's a real psychopath, and you are right in the middle of its hunting ground. Do you understand? You need to take your laundry right now and get out of there as fast as you can. Your free 60 seconds has ended. To have another late night sexy conversation. Oh, that got intense. I really wish I could leave. Fuck. Oh, blood. Uh. It's, on. it's the employee. He's been ripped to shreds. I need to call the police. Nine one one. What's your emergency? Hello? My name is Sarah. You need to send someone now. I'm at the... Shh. Dispatch said they got a call coming from out here. I can't seem to be able to find... Wait a minute. It sounds like it's coming from that office by the pizza place. by the pizza place? Hello? Is anyone there? This is the police. If anyone is there, then come out now. There's something wrong here.
Um, what the fuck was that? Holy Jesus. Oh my god. What the fuck is this? Ugh, it's awful. Oh my god, am I glad to see you? I must fucking shot this you dude. Help me. There's some crit Slow down. It's okay. <laughs> Shit. There has to be another way out of here. Oh my god. I think I know where to go.
gonna save this real quick.